when a data modeler or data architect he designs a data warehouse he tried to follow mainly two design strategies or methods and these are mainly the star schema or design or a snowflake schema or design uh, there are two designs star schema and snowflake schema to understand these two designs uh, we must understand three factors before what are the different type of tables in a data warehouse there are two types of tables these are dimension table and fact table the fact table that is a group of measure measure means that denotes the quantitative factor how much quantity what is the quantity denotes a quantitative factor so uh, in most almost the cases the fact table contains numerical values dimension is the standard or uh, measurement that is used to measure a fact in uh, simple terms if you are taking a cup of water the amount of water in that cup is the measure or fact where the fact is group of measures and the dimension of that cup that defines how much quantity of water a cup can contain that determines the dimension hope you got it consider this situation where in your company the total sale for last week is thousand dollars so the total sale amount is thousand dollars that gives the fact value that is thousand dollars and how we are calculating this thousand dollars we are calculating this thousand dollars for last one week so the week is the dimension here when we get into the different types and categories of fact and dimension tables we can see it contains two many classifications these tables are divided into so many categories a data modeler can use according to the requirement only there is no standard that he must use all these tables all these type of tables in a data warehouse but according to the requirement he can use dimension category or dimension table the main type of classification are confirmed dimension gen dimension snowflake dimension degenerative dimension very large dimension mini fixed and role playing dimension there is one important type of dimension table most of the data warehouses they contains these kind of tables these are known as slowly changing dimension again this scd or slowly changing dimension is classified into six other group or categories where the first three categories are important the scd type 1 type 2 type 3 are important there are different kinds of fact tables which are additive fact semi additive non additive factless fact table these are the classification in a broad sense the fact table is classified into snapshot transaction and cumulative according to the type of data warehouse a data warehouse designer selects what kind of tables he is going to use and according to the requirements he uses it and he designs it to build a total data warehouse structure you don't have to study all these classification but this is only for your information in fact table additive fact table means consider this situation that uh, for last week each day in your company you are having a sale of $10 each day the sale in your company is $10 so the total sale for last week can be calculated by adding the individual sale in each day so the total sale will be around $70 so we add all the individual sales in every day that's why we are getting $70 this kind of table is known as additive fact table semi additive means a perfect example is your bank account you will put money into your account and you will take money out of your account so we can't add all the transactions one by one this kind of transactions are known as this kind of fact tables are known as semi additive fact tables there are a lot of classification like factless 
snapshot transaction cumulative why i displayed all these classification because if somebody ask you you heard of you know all these kind of classifications at least you must know some classifications scds are very important but you must know all these other classifications let's go and see a simple star schema model and how a star schema model look like every data warehouse consists the dimension table and fact table so how this dimension and fact tables are arranged that is known as a schema in a star schema the dimension table and fact table is arranged in such a way that that looks like a star that's why it is called a star schema this is a sales fact table because this table contains the sales fact data mostly numeric data and some dimension data are stored in dimension tables like store time geography and customer these all data are dimension data because these are mostly not numeric and these are the standards to measure the sales so we have four dimension tables and one fact table and these are connected that exactly look like a star that's why this is known as a star schema snowflake schema is basically a an extended version of a star schema so a snowflake schema contains a star schema with a single fact table and that is surrounded by a group of dimension tables when we try to add more dimension tables to the existing dimension tables that will look like a snow when we add year quarter month to the time dimension or we will normalize the time dimension to year quarter and month the design of the schema changes and it becomes a snowflake model the geography